The effectiveness of masks can vary quite a bit depending on how they are made and what they are made of. N95 masks are what healthcare workers use to protect themselves, but what makes them so much better? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge spoke with the inventor of the special filter layer to find out and his advice for making masks at home. Most people probably wouldn't think of this simple looking N95 respirator as anything high tech, but sandwiched between the outer and inner layer is a very special electrically charged fabric that allows it to pull microscopic particles out of the air you breathe, doing more than a simple filter could. I had an invention in 1992. The invention was a breakthrough in creating the modern N95 mask. It allowed Professor Peter Tsai to bind a long-lasting charge of static electricity to the middle layer of fibrous fabric. And this uh, charging uh, uh, technology is called corona charging. After a charging, the efficiency is 10 times improved. The filtration is 10 times better because just like this static charged PVC pipe attracts hair, the electrostatically charged fibers pull particles from the air. In fact, this electrostatic charge is responsible for as much as 70% of the filtering efficiency of an N95 respirator. When the static charge is lost, this just becomes a tight-fitting mask. Dr. Tsai did have an interesting way to test the static charge, though. One rough way to measure is to put the fabric on the wall, or see if stick to the wall. You can see here the static charge in this new N95 mask is strong enough to divert a thin stream of water. Professor Sai, you've researched the best filters available. What material would you recommend for people at home making masks? Shop tower is made of fibers. It can have a high efficiency efficiency. The material that shop towels like this are made from is very similar to what's in an N95 mask. Have a look under my microscope. N95 filters seen on the left and shop towels seen on the right are made of randomly spaced non-woven fibers. That limits the gaps the particles could get through. In contrast, fabrics like cotton have regular recurrent gaps. If everyone wears masks, then uh, from a study, about 95% of the virus is already being contained by the infected person if he wears a mask. Now, incidentally, Professor Sai said, although sterilization can be done for N95 respirators, he really recommends just rotating through masks over a week to allow time for any virus to die naturally and avoid exposing that electrostatic layer to anything that could degrade the charge. Back to you. Really interesting. Well, besides shop towels, the professor also suggested that two layers of an air, air filter with a MERV 14 rating or higher would work. Incidentally, the blue shop towels, although made of uh, N95 fabric, are not electrostatically charged, so they aren't as efficient as a real N95 mask. But